Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today I have another drawing request from my student Jaden, and he asked if I could show you guys how to make a Power Ranger. And I had no idea that Power Rangers were like still happening because I watched Power Rangers when I was a kid, but apparently they're still happening because Jaden asked if we could draw one, so I was excited about that. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this guy here, the red Power Ranger. However, they all pretty much look the same, just different colors. So if the red Power Ranger is not your favorite, don't worry. You can follow the entire drawing with me and then just make it a different color when you're all done. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do this one. Start in pencil first, I think. There's a lot of little lines and details on this one. And then get the colors that you need to make it the Power Ranger that you want. And then let's get started. We're going to start on our drawing on the head for our Power Ranger. Remember, I'm going to do marker first, but I really recommend you do pencil first, especially when we get to these checker patterns, because they're a little hard to do the, the way that you want the first time. So I'm going to start with a circle for the head. I kind of draw the circle big and make the body a little smaller so it's a little bit more cartoony. Then I'm going to draw two lines for the neck. You can draw a little curved line connecting these two together so that it's like the neck of the shirt or the outfit. Then we're going to draw two lines that are just a tiny bit wider than the head. So see each of these lines go out just a little further but not too much. On the ends of each of these lines, we are going to draw a line that is a little bit diagonal. Each one goes in, so it's like that line there, it goes in. And then where the two are across from each other, go ahead and make a line that's either straight or a little bit curved to connect them together. Then we can draw another line just above that. That's going to be the belt later. Now we'll work on the arms. So I'm going to start at this corner and I'm going to draw a line that angles out a little ways and on this side angles out a little ways. And then we're actually going to leave them alone for a bit and do the legs. So starting right here, you're going to make a line that angles out a little ways and then stops because you need to have room for the boots. So this one again, other side angles out a little ways and then stops. So notice how the body goes in for like the top, the chest, the torso, and then it goes out like that. We're going to draw two straight lines. That's for the top of the boots. And then two lines that are on a little bit of an angle for each boot. If it's this leg, you want the lines to be kind of angling the same way as the leg is. On this side, they're going to angle kind of the other way so that it just makes more sense with which way the boots are going. Now, starting just a little bit in from this boot, we're gonna draw a diagonal line that stops kind of in the middle of the body, and then the other side, diagonal line that just connects and then just have them connect in the middle. For the bottom of the boot, make a little curved line I like to have the feet pointing out, so I have the curve going out towards the outside of the paper, and then it just connects back to that side. And now we can finish the arms. So we're going to angle this one back, but stop before you get to the leg, and do a little curved line. That's kind of like his hand on his side, or her, depending on which Power Ranger you're making. On the inside, we're going to do another diagonal line that's parallel to this one, and then parallel on the way back. We're going to do the same on the other side. Angle back, stop before you get to the leg, curved line, and then straight and straight like that. Okay, so we have the basic body shape down now. Now, if you want to make this um, the same way that I made this one, I'm going to show you how to make these checker patterns. So they're, we're not just going to draw diamond shapes, we're going to draw lines and when you kind of combine them together, they will make this pattern. 
definitely try and pencil first, okay? So I'm going to start right in the middle of this neckline for the shirt, and I'm going to do a diagonal line that goes all the way to the edge of the body. I'm going to do another one on the other side, trying my best to make them very even and symmetrical so they're the same. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can start up at this corner, or you can start down here. I like to start up at this corner. I'm going to make a diagonal line that goes down and stops right beneath this point. Then I start from the other side, the other corner, and I make a diagonal line that goes down to meet that one. And now I make my checker pattern. It's easier than you think, but you still kind of have to practice a little bit first. Let's do the same thing on the boots. So I'm starting up here. I'm making basically an arrow shape, like that. Start from the corner. Stop underneath the top point, other corner, and meet below. For these gloves, I need to draw a line on each arm to separate where the gloves are. And again, arrow shape. Start at the corner, stop below the point, and connect from the other side. For the belt, we want to do this little emblem here, so I do two curved lines, and then I do an extra set of curved lines around and fill in with black. If you wanted to do the pink Power Ranger, sometimes she has like a skirt thing on, sometimes not though, but if you wanted to add the skirt, you're going to do like a curved line that kind of goes right at the top of where the legs connect and draw an extra line. So I'll color this example in like the pink Power Ranger in case you want to make yours that way. For the face, we are going to draw this big section first. So start kind of in the middle, so almost halfway down and also halfway across. Draw a little curve like that just to get started. And then go over and see how this line is angled. It's not straight, it's going up. And up on the other side. So it's kind of like a V that's really squished down, I guess. And then you can fill that in with black. I'm gonna give my marker a little bit of a break and color that in with a crayon instead of a marker this time. You want to outline around it now, and when you get to the edge of the face, draw some little spikies by doing some zigzags, like that. Same on the bottom, look at that, some zigzags. Okay, and then for the mouth, do a little straight line close to the bottom of the head. Two diagonal lines that go out, and then on the top, it's like a curved line and another curved line. And you can have them frowning or smiling, whatever you want. Right above the mask, two dots. And at the corner of the head, do a little half circle that you can fill in. And another one on the other side. With that, we are all done doing our Power Ranger drawing, but now it's time to color it in. So you gotta decide which Power Ranger you wanna make it. They all pretty much have the exact same uniform. There might be some little differences, but they're pretty much all the same. So you can do the colors of the one you want, the same as this, just on this one. I'm gonna do a pink Power Ranger, like I said before. So I'm gonna color in the parts that are meant to be pink. These big checkers need to stay white, so I'm gonna start here. And with that, you guys, we are all done coloring in our Power Ranger. 
So you probably did yours the color of your favorite, or maybe you made up your own colors or designs for your Power Ranger. I would love to see what you did. But just take your time coloring and have fun, and you can add any extra designs that you want to add. All right, guys, I hope you had fun making your Power Rangers with me today. I know I had a lot of fun learning how to draw these guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.